Hi folks, Lone Wolf here again. Um, I want to show you a bit of a game changer, something that I've been looking at and uh, I've been toying with it for a while. Now as you know when I do my vlogging, I use specifically three cameras. I use the DJI Action 3 which is on the helmet and that's the one that I do a lot of the talking in and the 90% of the pictures. I use a little thing called um, it's just, I can't think of what it's called, Wolf, uh, Wolf Gang or something like that. Um, it's only 50 quid. I use that as a B-roll, which is then sits on the, on the front of the screen and looks directly at me. And I've also, as you know, got the 360 X3. Well, of late, the 360 X3, I've kind of like not been using it as much as I think I ought to. And I worked out the main reason was was because uh, when you go and start off and doing your ride, what happens is you go off down the road, switch your cameras on, and away you go. And then that's then recording everything for the next what hour, hour and a half, to whenever you stop or decide to change your cameras around or whatever. In my case, it's generally um, when I'm using it, I just leave it on and uh, then I come back. But when you come back then and you come to edit the footage, it's an absolute nightmare because you've got an hour and a half of footage that you're trying to condense to then match up with your DJI camera and also possibly even the Wolfgang from Face and Helmet. Now three cameras is a nightmare to edit together I know. And the way I do it sometimes, I don't know, but I try. I hope it sometimes makes life a little bit more interesting for people who are looking at it. Anyway, I think the reason that I've not been using the, the 360 as much as I have before is purely and simply because I can't get to it. I just can't get to it. I'll show you what I mean. When it's on the bike, it's mounted here, look. There, up in the, in the front. And So what we got? The game changer. How about that? This is actually remote to stop and start the 360 X3. In previous times, you can use voice actuation on the 360 X3, which means you've got to put your Lansley connector on and then an interface, then another one inside your helmet. I use a, a Rode wireless go system. Again, a good way of doing it. The problem with that is the Rode wireless go, it lasts next to no time in my opinion. It lasts, what, um, an hour maximum. And it's difficult to know whether it's on or off. So I thought, right, so I'll come up with this. If you can get a close up, there it is. You see it's on the animal bars there, the layout, phone. This is me uh, in off, K5 uh, dash cam, gives me GPS and all the rest of the stuff. And this one here is for the, um, not the Wolfgang, I use the, I can't think what it's called now, another small one, and this is the remote for that, in case I use it for the front face in there. So, what happens is, when you turn the ignition on, voila, it comes on, and it actually pairs with the camera. If I press it now, switch it on, on the side there, as you'll see, it comes on, settings, and it'll actually look for the camera. So as you can see, once I switched it on, it's now connected to the to 360. And I can, from here, I can... I switch that over in a minute. It's on HDR, I don't want HDR. Stop it. Switch that back over to video. You'll have to time shift, put it on video. By pressing this, 
and that is recording. That is now recording the 360 at the front. I'll move around and I'll show you. You can see it there. It's recording. It's doing all that. So it gives me the added bonus. Bring it back. Now, up to here, is I can see that it's recording. It's been on, what, 23 seconds or whatever. So, obviously, when I'm riding, if I decide I don't want it anymore, I can just press this. And that's it, stopped. Stop the recording on the 360. The 360 battery is really good. And it'll last a good hour and a half, two hours on standby. So by using this system of intermittently starting it and then stopping it, which can be done off the, the handheld here. Now I can utilize the 360 in a way that I haven't used it before, which should make life easier for me. As I say, it's a great camera. But if you ain't going to use it, there's no point in sticking it on the front, or if you're spending hours editing for two inches, two, sorry, two inches, two minutes of footage. What I've done, um, this obviously needs power to it. You can see it's got charge level on in there, it's not very good. So what I've done is I've wired it into the USB down here. So that's wired in to the USB straight into the USB and tuck it and it also then matches in with the quad lock wireless quad lock that I've got on here and obviously my little mod there that keeps everything dry so folks there's that another little mod um, you live and learn every day doing this in this vlogging business um, it's took me a while to sort that one out um, as I said before it, the 360 is a great little camera you get some fantastic shots off it, but it don't have to take some editing. And if you can get it, if you record a shorter clip, it's obviously a lot easier to edit. But if you've got an hour and a half uh, on your SD card and you're looking through it, it gets a bit monotonous. And of course, also with the 360, you have to keep rotating the footage on the editing suite to get the picture you want. So I think it's going to be a big boost to me. It's a big help. And when you're out and about in the good stuff, it'll give me a chance to just pair it, switch it on, and then just bang the record when I feel like it, when there's something interesting coming up, and switch it off. Kills two birds with one stone. Makes life easier for me when I'm riding. Makes life easier for me when I'm editing it. And hopefully it brings you better pictures and more interesting pictures than just front-on front pictures of the bike speed out, wing mirrors, fly screen, etc. Just a little bit of difference. So I hope that's been a bit of interest here. As I say, it is a life changer to me. It's a bit of a godsend. It's a game changer, sorry. Not a life changer. It's a game changer. It's a game changer to me. It now brings the 360 out of hibernation a little bit more and gets me to use it a lot more than I did. Right, end of story. Lone Wolf here, saying don't forget, tick, like, subscribe. Channel's going quite well. Getting some bits and bobs done here, nice and bit. Everything seems to be going really well at the minute. Can't fault it. So it's Lone Wolf saying bye for now, don't forget. Tick, like, subscribe. Tell your mates, don't cost a penny. Not one penny to subscribe to my channel. And it helps me in many, many ways. Same with your comments. Um, just drop us a comment whether you like it or whether you do I answer every single one but um, it's interesting to hear from people all over the world so until the next time it's Lone Wolf saying bye for now and don't forget just be careful out there it's Lone Wolf bye for now